There we go. Recording has started. <coughs> Hello, everyone. All right. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> You've never seen me this big, have you? <laughs> All right. So that's it. So uh, we're going to start. Um, I'm going to go through a few concepts, go through uh, what we need to, uh, what we kind of missed from the session that got uh, canceled. And... Um, your test is uh, moved to uh, the 10th, you know that already. Uh, what you need to know is that during the study break, uh, it's uh, for my IPC 144 students, it is mandatory for you to book a 20-minute session for me. I'm going to set up the schedule first, then I'm going to leave an announcement. So you're going to have a 20-minute session for me, and you got to have all your workshops in the GitHub ready uh, and organized. So... Um, and you, when you are booking the, the appointment for me, the 20 minutes appointment, you're going to uh, send the URL of your uh, GitHub repository to me. And we go to, an, to, to a session one to one and I'm going to review all your workshops and your code, give you comments live like that, like this is going to be much faster. Um, I have around 35 students in IPC 144, so that takes around like 20 hours. Um, so uh, we're going to do it throughout the semester, th throughout the, the study break. So make sure you set that when uh, I request it. Uh, you already know how, to how the appointments are set, but I'm going to send the link again for its YouTube uh, video so you know it. All right. That's that. Now, mini me is going to be here. There we go. All right. So uh, last time we talked about uh, uh, arrays and we, we talked about uh, uh, Scanf av actually having uh, um, uh, an internal mechanism to actually receive the strings. Uh, uh, and put it in the array for us and we said that each array that we have is actually a null term each uh, string as what we call it is a null terminated array uh, character array and that makes uh, a string actually uh, uh, act like a single variable because all these things are built in to the uh, in the standard of uh, uh, keeping the text inside a character array um, and finish the data and to mark the end of the data with the null is a standard that all C programmers and further C++ programmers follow uh, and uh, you will see how it's going to work out. The next thing we need to know about that string is that, um, uh, that this, these are the, the examples that we had. So we, in the utilities, we actually create a, a, um, a, a string copy and a string cat just to demonstrate how things work. Uh, so um, before we continue, and if in class, uh, when I actually uh, do a poll, if, you are, if your computer is connected to it and you are in class, you can answer the poll. But for those people who are not in class, please uh, uh, respond to the poll. Uh, and this is how it goes. Uh, I don't think you're going to see it on the projector because the projector is full screen. And when it's full screen, the poll doesn't show. So in here, I'm going to have the first question. Is everybody good? And uh, a, a post, a poll is sent right now, and I see people are saying yes over here in a, in a poll, and you will see. And uh, if I don't see you responding and you are logged in, then I'm going to pick on you. Now I know many people are not responding, and I'm going to ask them one by one. So Khaled is not responding. Seung Joon is not responding. Uh, Adam is not responding. Jaden is not responding. And I think Khaled is gone and doing something. I don't know. I can't see. Because, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, there you go. So the, the poll comes like this. So I have just a demonstration to see how things are going to work out. And you're going to keep getting those things from me. So uh, also, I'm going to have my chat at left in case uh, students wants to send me a chat. What if we are in class? Uh, uh, Greg is asking, what if we are in class? If you, oh, if you are in class and uh, in regard to poll, I see that you have your computer in front of you. So respond on the computer. 
<laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, you can't mock me like that, my friend. Anyway, so uh, so that's that. Uh, and when I'm publishing the poll, you're going to see the response coming in. And one person actually said no, and I missed it. When I said, how are you doing? Are you good? Yeah, I missed that one. So, uh, but anyways, so uh, that's that. Let's begin. So um, we talked about all the good stuff about uh, strings as character arrays and how we deal with it. So I'm just going to go through um, uh, some details about it. And then we're going to talk about some good stuff. Uh, and uh, uh, that's going to be the... Uh, the end of the first half of the semester. So the very first thing we talk about is, uh, again, the character arrays, just a quick review on what we have done. Um, and let me just do it like this. All right. Um, <clears throat> all right. Something is different in Visual C. Uh, these things, where do they come from? What does it mean? Delete it. I know it's deleted. I just delete it. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, uh, character arrays. So I'm going to have over here character I'm going to call name. And I'm going to put over here, say, uh, 128 as the length. Okay? So there are a few things that I need to tell you with about scanf uh, and how you can actually read with it uh, other than the percent s. So in here, if I have something like, and I say over here, printf um, name, and I ask for the person to enter the name, and I and I scan the name as percent s over here and put it in name. Okay. Question: Do we need to have put the? Uh, do we have? Do we need to have the ampersand beside the name? <laughs> Okay, one, two people uh, said, I'm not going to mention who said right or wrong. I'm just going to mention, you will see when I'm posting it. So most of you are saying no, and those are the right ones <clears throat> that you are saying no. And those people who said yes, uh, that, oh yeah, Francis actually, yeah. So, uh, so now you will see around like 5% of you said yes, which is wrong. We said that when you are dealing with, a, with uh, uh, a, an array, <coughs> Uh, the, the name of the array is actually the address itself. So when you are when you are actually having a regular integer, let's say integer a, or for all that matters, a single character ch, if I read a single character, then scanf percent c address of ch is needed because scanf needs to know where ch is. Or if I want to read an integer, if I say scanf <coughs> percent d an address of A, I scanf needs to know where A is, therefore we pass the address of A. But an array is not a single thing. It is 128 characters back to back in memory and C language is giving its address to us in name. So name by itself is an address. You don't need to put an app ampersand to extract his address. We'll come to address. We understand what's going on. And when I say address, I mean where in memory. So when I say what is the address of something, it means where does that thing in is in my memory. And by address, I don't mean 32, I don't know, Young Street. By address, I mean just a sequence number. So if you have, I don't know, 8 gigabytes of RAM, address 952 uh, literally means 950 second byte in your RAM, in your memory. <clears throat> so that's what it is. Anyways, so uh, not putting an ampersand was correct and we don't need to put it. Now in here I'm going to say printf, <clears throat> hello, and I'm going to put percent %s over here. And I'm going to put the name and we'll see how it's going to work out. So if I run this beautiful program of mine and if I write over here as my name Farlad, everything is good, it's going to say hello Farlad. But if I say over here, what is your name? And, it's, and I say Fardad Soleimanlu. Soleimanlu. If I do like this, you will see that it stops at space. So that's how percent %s works. When you say percent %s, delimiter is a white space character. When I say <coughs> delimiter, it means a stop. Uh, uh, point of stop uh, for separation. So <clears throat> if I do something, so if I, let, let's put it this way. If I say over here percent %s and I put over here name and age, okay? 
if I write something like this and I put over here percent s and percent d so I'm reading two things okay and in here I'm gonna put the age integer age <clears throat> in here and I'm gonna put the address of age okay and I'm gonna say hello s <clears throat> you are percent d years old okay and I'm gonna go to new line <clears throat> So if I put the age over here, and I just see what happens. If I actually put the age over here and run it, <clears throat> if the user enters Fardad and the 57, and I hit like this, nothing's going to happen. Because it's now, because there is no delimiter, it reads everything as a string. So in here, I have to enter something else. I don't know. And if I do that, now it says, hello, Fardat57, you are 55 years old. Because a white space between this and this right now is a new line. New line, tab, backspace, form feed. These are all, and space, they are all white space characters. So <clears throat> the limiter, if I wanted to actually say Fardat57, the correct way of saying it, sorry, I still have problem and I lose my voice. <clears throat> So if I wanted that to be read properly, I should have said Fardad, space, or Fardad, tab, <coughs> and then say 57. And it will say Fardad 57. So a white space is a delimiter for percent %s. So you, uh, you cannot put a full name, including a space, and give it to percent %s. But for printing, <coughs> that's not the case for printing if there is a space in it so in here if i put something like <coughs> john do for printing printf doesn't care what it is percent s for printf goes all the way so if i do printf over here percent s <coughs> and the name we will see that obviously the whole name that is John Doe printed and not only uh, and not only John okay so keep that in mind and let's continue okay so um, oh, not that one and let's take the John Doe out and I'm gonna save this as not here am I editing another program by mistake <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I made a ginormous boo boo. Um, pa, 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 pa. Uh, give me a second, people. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, open folder. Oops, I made a ginormous boo boo. Okay, so in here, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to copy these beautiful things. Copy. I made a mistake. I included it from another page. I wanted to bring the old ones over here. So paste, I added this. Now, this is a good thing about Git. Now I'm going to show you something interesting about Git. So I'm going to remove these because I included it from the other page. I'm just going to remove them <coughs> and save and, re uh oh, okay, save, whatever. So now if you look at this, let me come over here and bring it up. So this is the IPC 144 that I changed by mistake. So this is the, the notes that in here that I changed by mistake. Let me copy this, not to lose it, and put it in here. Paste. So now that I made the boo-boo, I want it to go back to what it was before. I can simply right-click over here and go tortoise kit and go revert. Yeah, I'm going to say revert that one. And voila, it's all back to what it was before. So all the changes I made by mistake, it's not going to change. It's a beautiful thing to use. Anyways, now I'm going to go back to my uh, solution and actually pick the right directory and add the stuff that I have and continue. <coughs> so as I was saying, and I'm going to remove this H from here and remove actually... integer age save and I'm gonna call this um, 
a dash delimiter four percent s in scanf is white space <laughs> look at the size of the name man <clears throat> okay and i'm gonna write the same thing over here delimiter for the uh Peter, this is correct, right? The limiter is like this. Spell. Yep. Okay, no. good. You know, Peter is my spell checker, right? <laughs> okay. So, the limiter is white space. <clears throat> so we have this. Beautiful. And we're going to get out and we're going to go back in here. <clears throat> and now I'm going to teach you how to, what to put in percent and tell to scan up to include white space if you want to. It's actually pretty cool and very simple. So, say I want to get the name and age. So, I'm going to say printf name and age. In here, I'm going to say separated Wait, 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 wait. Am I recording? Yes. And am I recording? Yes. Good. Okay, my apologies, let's continue. Yeah, so separated uh, by comma. So I'm gonna say, enter your name and age separated by comma. So what I want the user to enter is this. Whoa. Say, uh, Homer, Simpson, comma, 45 years old, and then hit enter. I want them to do it this way. If I want this, actually, I can even do it like this. So if I want it, this to happen, how do I tell to scanf to read up to comma? It's very easy. In the, instead of S, you put two squared brackets. And in here, you say read up to and not including comma. So by doing something like this, this entire thing means S. It means string. But you are saying keep reading characters and stop at comma. Now that you stop that comma, the scanf will read Homer Simpson and put it in name. Now there is a comma, correct? You put the comma over here so scanf skips it. So by doing something like this, you are saying read up to comma, skip the comma, read the H. And now when user actually enters it, what the devil is that? Did I print some? Oh, you did a print. Oh, I, print I printed garbage. <laughs> okay, one more time. Okay, so now if I do that, now in here I'm going to say uh, Homer Simpson, comma, 45, and I hit enter, and it says your Hello, Homer Simpson, you're so actually it receives the back, the, the space within and anything. So you can tell it where to stop and skip. So the key for it is this, read up to that, then skip it. Read up to and skip. And that's all. So that's scan of, so, and you can use it for many things. I can say, for example, if I want to read a date, so I'm going to say in here, I'm going to put int, year uh, uh, and uh, yeah int year month and day and in here i'm going to say <coughs> printf enter date in following format and now in here i'm going to say for example year slash month slash day and enter so they know that's how it's supposed to be entered okay and I'll go to new in following format. I'm going to put comma over here and say I'm going to go to new line over here, backslash n, and give them a prompt so they can actually print it. Now in here I can say scanf. Uh, percent d slash percent d slash percent d uh, sl slash percent d 
and then over here I'm going to put address of year, address of month, and address of day. And what I can do, as you know, because I have three percents over here, because I have three percents over here, scanf returns three if all three are successful. So in here I can say if the scanf of mine is not equal to three, it means user entered garbage. So in here I'm going to say printf bad format. Else, I'm going to say printf the date is and then I'll put percent %d and let's say I show it with another uh, format. The, I read it like that but I'm going to show it like this awful thing to do but hey mm, d and I'm going to go to new line and in here I'm going to say year month and day. So now if I run this program you will see the first one of course is going to be Homer Simpson and 45. Now it's going to say hello Homer Simpson you're 45 years old enter the following enter the enter date in following format I'm going to say 2023 slash 2 slash 24 and I hit enter. So it says here is that. But if I do not enter it properly, I don't want to have this Homer Schmomer to come in again. So I'm going to st stop this and I'm just going to go for date. I'm going to comment this for now. Now, if I run it again in here, now if I, for example, enter, I don't know, 2023-2-24, it's going to say bad format because I didn't read it properly. Uh, are we all okay with this? All right, so a good walkthrough for your, act it, it, this is not going to be in your test, but for future test. Uh, so let me just put this thing over here, and I'm, um, you know it already, so this one's going to be. What the devil was that? What did I do? Okay. I think we're good. Okay, so save it. And here I'm going to say <coughs> ABCD enforcing uh, format, format of entry. Dot C. So now I can enforce the format, but a good walkthrough will be this. Take a look. I'm going to say. Uh, if user, if user enters Homer Simpson, and then I'll go enter, what is the output of this program? And in here, I'm going to say scanf percent and I'm gonna say not and I'm gonna put s and I'm gonna say name and I'm gonna say printf percent s and name for those who have access to computer tell me what the output is you can type it in there actually for those who are in class uh, Tell me <laughs> what the output is. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm 57 years old and not very good with idioms. What IDK means? Anybody knows? I don't know. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> oh my god. Okay. IDK. <laughs> All right. By the way, this is lowercase s, not uppercase. So many of you are writing stuff that you're not supposed to. This is lowercase. So I'm going to, um, no, it is not, uh, it is perfectly uh, 
successful read, it's not so. So let me just explain what's going on. So I said, <laughs> what, what I said was this. It just let's let's go through it one more time. So I, was, I said, read up to and not including lowercase s. So this will be read. This let me just make it bigger so everybody sees. This will be read. The red, red, red. Not red the color. It will be red. And this is not lowercase s. No, no, and stops. So S will not be read. So it's going to be Homer Simp. That's what's going to happen. That, and that is successful. The rest, which is S-O-N, will remain in keyboard as garbage. It should be flushed, but we didn't flush it. Do we have a flush in, in my utils? Yes, we have a flush key. So yeah, so we should flush afterwards if you want to do something. Otherwise, we don't care. It's going to stay in keyboard. So if I run the program, you will see that actually... One more time. Why is it not running? Scan F percent. No, it should work. What happened? Oh, because I didn't enter. Gongul. Okay. <laughs> Print F. I didn't enter anything. And I'm saying, why is it not working? Because we didn't enter anything. Okay. Let me actually enter it. Homer <laughs> Simpson. Okay. So if I do it, Homer Simp is going to be the output. Okay. Uh, so, are we all okay? Uh, Iris is asking me, could you, could you please recording this session? I'm recording the session in two different uh, things. You're going to have it on Big Blue Button and YouTube. Okay? And what else do we have? Public chat. Can you explain if condition... If condition, please. Azad, please speak up. Oh, you have, you're on listen only. I told you, don't go listen only. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, is it possible to do more than one character specific? No, 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 no. No, only one character, not more than one. You cannot say not S O N. Okay. All right. Only one. Only, only, only one. Okay. So that's that. And let's go back to poll. And uh, by the way, if anybody at uh, in the class, the, you have your computers on too, uh, what I see is this. I only see the poll. The chat is at left side, and I don't see it. So if somebody types something over there and I miss it, just scream over there, Fardad, read the chat, and I'm going to read the chat. All right, so that's that. So that's how Scanf works, and that's how we can read it. And uh, like, for example, let me just put something else. I'm going to say, let's say I want to read a comma-separated value of the ingredients of, uh, like, uh, in ingredients of ice cream. Let's put it that way. So th this is what I'm going to So let me just save this over here, save it. I'm going to say, what am I going to say? Um, I'm going to say, uh, what do I call this? I'm going to say uh, uh, percent, scan, per C, scanf reading strings. Okay. Uh, let's say I have like in entry, this is what I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting like uh, something like I'm getting um, uh, or different. Let's say I'm, I'm going to get like three different. I want to get RGB, three different colors, and then mix them to see uh, like, well, I've got to get three different colors, not RGB. That's R, uh, uh, three different colors and mix them. So I have red, uh, uh, black, and green. And it's gonna so it's series of three colors are gonna come in and I'm gonna read them one by one. If I want to do that, so uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say over here three colors, three colors, uh, comma separated. If I do something like this, and if I want to read something like this over and over, then I have to have over here character color one, say, I don't know, um, 50, and color two, 50, color three, 
50. Okay, and I do something like <laughs> this. Now in here, if I want to read that, what I need to s say is uh, go up to comma, or let's put dash, so it's not always comma. Uh, dash separated, I'm going to say. So I'm going to say go up to dash and skip the dash, read another screen, again up to dash, skip the dash, and go to another str string, up to backslash n, and skip the backslash n, for example. Something like that. The thing is that if they don't put a backslash n at the end, scanf hangs because it wants a backslash n. You can ignore that so it can accept any type of backs, any type of, uh, uh, what should we call it? Uh, any type of uh, color that is coming in. Any, any type of white space that is coming in. So in here, I'm going to put color 1. I don't need uh, ampersand. Color 2 and color 3. Now in here, I can say printf uh, mix of percent %s, percent %s, percent %s, and go to new line. In here, I'm going to say color 1, color 2, and color 3. Okay? So <coughs> having uh, done something like this, I can now enter values as follows. So I can say light green dash uh, dark red dash blue and I hit enter so what was this? why didn't you get the last one? wait a minute so light green dark red why didn't you read the last one? oh I forgot to put the knot <laughs> my apologies I forgot to put the carrot because if we have to say up to, this means up to, okay? I didn't put that one. My bad. My, one more time. Light green. Dark red. And if I say over here, dark no. red, no. let's yeah. see what happens. And then in here, um, oh, oh, dash, right. That's the <laughs> Thank you. Dash, and then in here, what am I going to have? What am I going to have? Uh, blue. And if I hit enter, you will see that the... Why well, didn't read it again? What's going on? <laughs> Scan F. Skip that one. Skip. Oh, the numbers, the Why do I have an ampers? Something's wrong with me today. <laughs> <laughs> Brain doesn't work, people. Brain doesn't work. One more time. <laughs> Three times a charm. Okay, yeah. light green. Space. Oh, dash, dark, dash. Dark, dash. Dark, dash. <laughs> dark red and blue. Hallelujah. As you see, the spaces at the beginning is red too. So it's not going to skip the leading spaces where percent s does so when you actually mention something like this you are taking over and telling read everything and stop at the dash are we all okay with this <coughs> all right so Shams, Shah, John, Azad, Koshal, where are you? Are you in class? Any of you in class? No? I'm in class. Oh, you're in class. Cool. One of you in class, the rest of them are asleep, not responding to my poll. Anyways, <coughs> so, so this is, uh, again, uh, I'm going to say E, and I'm going to say reading uh, strings. C strings, sorry, C strings. So when I say C string, it's null terminated array of characters. Now, <clears throat> so that's that. Now we're going to enter a new topic that is extremely important, people. Okay? Uh, are we all okay? All right. 
And um, does anybody want to take a break before, because this one is a major topic. Anybody wants to take a short break before we continue? Anybody wants want to take a short break? break? <laughs> Lots of people are saying yes. <laughs> All right, so it's 4.11. Uh, say 10 minutes break because we I know that we don't have any class afterwards so I can go a little further after so uh, so let's get 10 minutes break we're gonna be at, uh, at 421 we're gonna be back I'm gonna pause the recording please remind me to continue recording and Peter if you don't mind leave your if you is your computer log is your computer plugged in uh yep it's plugged in like our I mean, as in like charging yeah I mean like if you leave it on the battery is not gonna go bad uh, I think it should be fine. I think I have enough juice in it. You think? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me just stop here. So resume over here. Yes. Uh, let's start. Okay. So, um, down to this point, when we are when we are dealing with uh, uh, values that we were getting, we were thinking all about single entity things, single stuff. Um, but when in reality, any thing that you think about, it has more than one specification. For example, a rectangle. It has a width and a length. Okay, so say if I want to draw a rectangle, I have to pass the width and the length. And if I want to receive 50 rectangles, what do I do? Let's, let me just go through this and uh, explain exactly what I mean. Suddenly everything went quiet. Are you, everything's okay over there? Yeah. Oh, okay, yep. all right. So I'm just trying to set up the um, charting. Okay. Will so, the rays be on the midterm? Pardon me? Will the rays be on the midterm? I don't know. Let me check. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Can you send it wasn't on the email, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. it is in an email, but I have to see to, to tell you. Because if I say something, so it's right before it. So the first five. Okay, perfect. Oh, and right down to the logic. So arrays and structures and stuff like that is going to be after. So I, I, it's possible that I'm going to take three, instead of two tests, I'm going to have three of them. So probably one is going to be around here on week 10. And then we're going to have a final. Final assessment, so a midterm, uh, three quarter term, and a final. <laughs> so it's going to be something like that. Because I don't want the final to be like, because literally down to week five, it's nothing. And then after this, suddenly a massive amount of information, and I don't want you to face them all in your final. So the uh, average you. of the two will be your final. So you have kind of smaller scope to deal with let's put it that way okay so any comments on that no no we like it you like it all right, all right. Big one. All right. people who are online any any uh, comment on that francis is typing daniel is typing oh great they say okay good <laughs> all right okay all right all right so uh what was i talking about oh yeah so so if i want to receive series of rectangles so i'm gonna have so what how do like if i want to let's let's do it like this let's create a function that draws a rectangle so in here i'm gonna say void draw i want to draw a rectangle draw a rectangle i need to have a width and i need to have a height right or length height is better peter is that correct yeah, uh, you just put the e before the i okay <laughs> okay <laughs> there you go <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay so width and a height so if i want to actually print this thing and, and show it uh what i need to so the width is the the top and the bottom so i'm gonna say over here I'm going to have an integer i. I'm going to say 4i set to 0, i less than width. Um, <clears throat> let's 
show over here with what we want to show with what we want we want to show it so I'm gonna say integer fill as we did for the line actually do I have the line in my utils I don't have the line in my utils let me put a line in my utils so I'm gonna have a line in my utils I'm gonna say over here uh, everybody knows how the line is written so I'm gonna do it very quickly void void line uh, int length and uh, character fill with what I'm filling it um, and in here I'm gonna say int new line to see if I'm going to new line um now nah, let's just put it line uh, is that okay I think it's okay all right yeah. so yeah. the line that I have over here I'm gonna say integer I and I'm gonna say for i set to zero, i less than length and i plus plus. And in here I'm gonna say put care uh, fill. And I'm gonna say put care new line. Is everybody okay with my beautiful line uh, function in here? Right? And just to write it properly I'm gonna do it like this so we see all right so the line is written over here so I have the line now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add this line over here to my because lots of lines I have to draw so it's a good idea to to have it like that and I'm gonna add it over here um, um, sorry cool no I'm thinking line line ln line nn uh, line nl i'm going to have a line nl i'm going to call this one line nl i tell you why for future line i i see the future <laughs> okay so one is line nl and the other one is going to be light and line is the exact same thing. So essentially a line is just a line, which is this one. Okay. Why is it giving me an error? Because it has two things. So a line is just a line, but the line and L is a line that goes to new line too. So it's a line that passes len and fill. So it draws a line and then goes to new line. I think that's better because sometimes you don't want to go to new line right you just want to draw a few characters in certain length draw a line and don't go to new line so you I'm don't gonna have it like that so I have a line new line and a line you don't need a scope for your uh, your line function for the for, for loop uh, who asked that oh Greg sorry oh no no why you are saying sorry good idea thank you you don't but let's always follow the same standard. When it's only one line, you don't need to. But just you noticed how bad it is. Okay? It, it's, it's, it's not a fit anymore. See, for example, this if-else statement, I can, because the first one, it doesn't have, because the first one doesn't have uh, uh, two lines, I can actually write it like this. But it's, it's ugly because half of it is like, it's so it's better to always have this scope. Thank you for asking. No problem. <laughs> okay, so, that's that. so So the rectangle that I, now I have the utils and I have those things. So in here, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say first draw a line. So I'm gonna say over here, first draw a line uh, with a new line, line and L uh, to the width, because that's the width that I want to have and the fill, so that's what's gonna happen. And then I'm gonna say for I set to uh, zero and I less than height minus two because the line at the top at the bottom will occupy one space and I plus plus. Now in here, I'm gonna say uh, print or put care the fill so you put one character then draw me a line with no new line 
to width minus 2, because that's the inside, width minus 2, and go with space. Don't, don't put anything in here. And then put character again for the fill. And put character new line. Or I can say printf. It's easier. So in here, I'm going to say printf. Uh, no, it's not easier, actually. <laughs> Percent C and new line. I wanted to save some time, but I just screwed it up. But it's OK. That's OK. So I'm going to say over here and fill. And then I'm going to draw a line at the end again, exactly the same way. OK, so that's my draw rectangle thingy. So in here, I can say draw rectangle. And I can say <coughs> the width of, say, 30 and the height of 5 with, say, uh, what do I do? With asterisks, OK? I'm going to make that rectangle beautiful later on. This For now, it sucks, but it's OK. So when I draw this thing, it's going to actually draw something on a screen. That's a rectangle. Uh, are we OK with this? <laughs> what happened? What's wrong with that? It's awesome. <laughs> oh, OK, all right, OK. So, there we go. so we have a rectangle. Now, if I want to get series of rectangles from the user so i want to s i want to draw five different rectangles okay and i want to get these five rectangles from the user what do i do i need five widths and five heights so i have to say integer say height five and i have an integer width five correct then i have to say um printf Please enter five, five, uh, uh, what do you say to width and length together, width and height together? Five uh, rectangle dimensions, rectangle dimensions, oh, uh, the rectangle dimensions, uh, comma separated, comma separated. And in here, I'm going to say width width and height okay and then enter so i want to get this information and so in here i'm going to start uh, and i'm going to and i'm going to just uh, go to new line it's actually a little too long let me just separate you can separate a, 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 a string that is too long into two strings c automatically attaches them both if you don't put anything between so if you just write a string and a string after, C assumes that it's one string, OK? Because it was too long, I didn't want it. Anyway, so in now in here, I'm going to have a loop. So I'm going to have integer i, and I'm going to write over here. And I'm going to write over here for integer i, uh, i set to 0, i less than uh, 5, and i plus plus. And I'm going to ask ask for them one by one. So I'm going to do a prompt. So printf. In here, I'm going to say percent %d. And I'm going to do like that, give it, give it a space, and let them enter. And we'll assume that user is a sane user. It's not some crazy dude sitting over there entering stupid stuff. So I'm assuming that everything's going to get printed prop uh, received properly. So I'm going to say scanf percent %d, comma, percent %d. So that's comma separated. And in here, I'm going to say address of h i and address of, sorry, with i, with i, and address of h i. So now I am receiving the width and heights. Then in here, I can have another loop. So I can say actually for i set to 0, i less than 5, and i plus plus, I can draw them all one, one after each other. So I can say draw a rectangle. And in here, I'm going to say uh, with, with i, if I can type it, with i and height i. Suddenly, OK. So, and the fill, of course. The fill character is going to be asterisk in our case for now, OK? So I'm going to just draw it like that. And obviously, I'm not going to go 5. I'm going to just make it two okay <laughs> because i don't want to enter too many things but you get the idea it could be 500. do we understand what we are doing here 
Uh, can you explain again, please? Um, so what I'm saying over here is that when you need series of stuff, that series of things that each one has many things like look at the rectangle a rectangle needs two things to identify what a rectangle is it's not one thing for that if I want to get series of it I have to create that number of arrays that a rectangle has which rectangle has height so I need an array of five heights rectangle have width I need an array of five width essentially they call these type of things parallel arrays which essentially are arrays that are going parallel and each index of the both arrays correspond to the same thing okay did that does that explain yeah, yeah. okay good so if that's the, so I'm gonna do it that so so now I'm gonna go two instead of five because I don't want to enter five things boring um, I'm gonna run it and it's going to ask for two things. So the for the height of the first one, I'm going to put 20. And in here, I'm going to put uh, 4. And for the other one, I put 50 and 5. And when I hit Enter, it's going to print the two rectangles for me and so on and so forth. Are we okay with this? Just notice that uh, separate spelled incorrectly. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Can we see the source code? Thank you. You look at it. <laughs> okay, so, so separate. This is good now. That's good. Oh, good. All right. So, are we all okay with this? Uh, can you explain the for loops again, please? Okay. So uh, the first for loop. So yeah. the first for loop over here is receiving the information and it's doing it parallel. What does it mean? It says it receives two things puts it in two different arrays, but with the same index. So H0 and W0 is rectangle 0. H1 and W1 is rectangle 1. H2, W2 is rectangle 2, and it keeps going like that. What, was that Azad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So does, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. Okay. And second one, explain second one, please. And the second one is the exact same thing. I'm just passing the same width and height to the rectangle, so it dry, it, it displays the rectangle. Are we uh, okay? Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot. Uh, may I ask a question? Yes, go ahead. Uh, for scanf, where you do comma separated, it's for you. So what happens if they don't put a comma? Uh, it's gonna. It's scanf is gonna return, uh, not two, so okay. it is not correct. Okay. So, so if you want to, oh shoot, let me, <laughs> so you want me to write the foolproof version type of a thing? No, 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 I just wanted to know like that. It has to read the comma or else it won't go. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that, but first I want to oh. make the point, okay? So, but this doesn't make sense. Like really I have to, in here, H, so if I wanted this actually to make sense to somebody, I have to say H is the height of a, rectangle w or i have to put long names over here height of rectangle width of rectangle that doesn't make sense not only that what if i want to have a function called get rectangle dimensions to get rectangles of a dimension if i want to do that how can i return two things at the same time it is impossible a function is capable of only returning one thing. I can return one integer. I can return one double. I can return one character. I cannot return two things. It doesn't make sense. I wish I could package these two things, this height and width, in one entity so it can be passed around. So I don't have to uh, so I don't have to uh, kind of uh, remember that this is a parallel array. I wish I could have an array of rectangles instead of having an array of heights, an array of widths. Why do I have an array of rectangles? That doesn't make sense. Do we understand this? The answer is that we can do so. Okay. Uh, Xing Wang, Xing Yang, 
What is the problem? I'm hoping that I can't see if <laughs> click the wrong button. What click the wrong button. Oh, okay. Wrong. <laughs> okay, wrong button. Okay. Ninety percent of today is not the wrong button. We just don't want to speak. Okay. All right. So that's the case. And and I see like and I see you, Jane, Shah, Hu, Hu Lin, Daniel, Azad is here. Uh, they are not responding, which is fine. Okay, so so how can I do that? So this one is I'm gonna call it over here F rectangles rectangle dimensions in parallel arrays which we do not like so what do I do I'm gonna say instead of doing stuff like this I'm gonna create a package of widths and heights and call that rectangle how do I do that this is how I do it I'm gonna say get ready for this struct struct it means build okay a rectangle for me and I put a scope now anything I put in this is struct becomes a package in here I'm gonna say int height and int width so a rectangle means a height and a width and I can treat this as a single little uh, entity, which means in main, instead of having this gibberish, I can actually create something like this. I can say struct rectangle R. Now this R of mine has a width and a height. Why? Let me just, because width I said first, let me put it first. For some reason, width, I like to have it first. Anyway, so yeah, so it has a width and a height. So R is an instance of type rectangle and it has a width and a height. Do we understand this? So in other words, if I want to say have a rectangle with width, for, with width of 40 and height of four, I can say R dot so dot means apostrophe s in english so i can say r dot width is 40 because it's an integer now i can say r dot height is five and that becomes the height do we understand this and i can call that draw rectangle of mine like this now i can say void draw rectangle and I can pass over here r dot width and r dot height and say with asterisk. Okay, why is it giving me an error in here? Why is it going to be? Oh, I'm putting void. Why am I putting void? Oh. <laughs> anyway, so now if I draw this, it's going to actually draw the rectangle. Not only that, what if I just put the fill in it too? So I'm going to say over here, character fill. It could be any order. And I'll put it over here. And here I'm going to say character fill. So I can have different rectangles with different types of things. So in here I can say this one, r.fill, is going to be, say, with a plus sign and in here I'm gonna say r dot fill and I print it and I have the rectangle with plus sign are we okay with this now yeah. now that I have this thing what I just wrote over here is kind of stupid why it's as if I give you uh, a six pack of beer and I tell you carry the six pack up and give it to my friend but 
don't carry the box carry individual bo <laughs> bottles separately what what the heck is this why am i i just build a box why can't i just pass the box i can instead of writing like this so i'm gonna say efg in here i'm gonna say uh struct dot c what i can do in here instead of passing them individually i can say hey pass a struct rectangle called i don't know rc in here and in here i'm gonna say line rc dot width rc dot fill rc dot height again rc 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 and rc and now in here instead of passing the whole gibberish in here i simply say r draw the rectangle for me and the outcome is exactly the same do we understand this now that i have done this i have one package to deal with so instead of writing separate things to receive a, a rectangle i can actually create a function to receive and get me one rectangle how do i do that in here i was reading a, a rectangle using scanf like this so instead of doing that i'm gonna do this i'm gonna say struct exactly as i'm returning an integer rectangle get rectangle so this function of mine is returning a rectangle and in here i'm going to say printf i'm going to do like that and i'm going to say scanf percent d percent d and c because i want to get the fill for it too how do you want to print the rectangle in here it works the and i'm going to build a rectangle here so i'm going to say struct rectangle uh, i'm going to call it ret the one that i'm going to return and i'm going to say ret dot width so i don't need any array width and in here i'm going to say address of rec ret dot height and address of ret dot fill and in here i'm just gonna um, explain how it is so i'm gonna i'm gonna do it like this i'm gonna say uh with height fill so they know what 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 we are supposed to enter and i'm and i'm gonna say over here comma separated values so they know it's comma separated so and then at the end i'm going to say return right so instead of receiving all these stuff so now in here instead of this i'm going to say r is set to get rectangle so what happens is that it comes and runs my program it has an r over here that is supposed to be overwritten by something it goes to rectangle creates a rectangle and as you see rectangle has got all garbage in it you see that garbage 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 then it comes over here and says comma separated value for height width and red so it comes like this i'm going to say width is 50 comma height is 5 and i want it to be filled with plus and i hit enter as soon as you do that it comes back in here as you see the garbage thing of mine actually <laughs> it actually went through the whole thing there you go so why didn't it receive it it should hmm let me see i think it's i think it's uh, i believe it's uh, visual studio let's go back and see what happens so i'm gonna come over here r there you go yeah visual studio has some bug for some reason i don't know what it is it was supposed to receive it, it didn't show it so as you see fi 55 and plus is here and that's passed to draw rectangle so it goes to draw rectangle and now i have the rc holding the exact same thing and everything is printed how it's supposed to be which is like this
so now I can have packages of rectangle instead of this and it makes my life much easier so I can have uh, anything I want to and I can have anything I want to ha have uh, uh, like this and make thing more modular take a look so in here I'm gonna say GH returning a struct Now I'm going to come back over here. I wanted to get an array of rectangles. No problem. In here, I'm going to say struct rect five. Now I have five rectangles. And then in here, I'm going to say integer i. And I'm going to say for i set to zero, i less than. Obviously, I'm putting two, but please put five yourself and try it. Two. And then what am I going to say? What am I going to say? I'm going to say i plus plus. And in here, I'm going to say get rectangles and put it in R I. I don't have to go for parallels anymore. And in here, I'm going to print them one by one for I set to zero, I less than two, and I plus plus. And print them one by one R I. Again, what you create, it's a package, but it works exactly like a regular variable. You can create arrays of it, you can break it down into pieces, scan it, but everything is modular. Now, take a look. If somebody looks at this code and doesn't know what the heck is going on, they can understand exactly what it's supposed to do without even executing it. I am building rectangles, five of them. I am going from one to two, getting the rectangles, putting in the array, only two of five, then I'm gonna print the two out. So my code is explain what my code is doing. Now, if I run the program, it works perfectly. I put over here 50, five, and plus. For the next one, I'll put 20, four, and asterisk. And I'm going to have two different rectangles printed. And done. Are we okay with this? Yeah, so you consider struct a package, not a data type or anything like that? It's uh, a package? We can turn it to a data type. I'll display, I'll explain later. You can turn it, you have to put struct. That's why it's not a data type. Okay. If you want to, you can make it a data type. I will teach after we get comfortable with this. I'll tell you how to make it a data type. It's actually very simple. You can turn it to a data type, but what we call it is a composite data type. It's not a regular one. We call it a composite type. It's a type that is built up of other types. Do we understand? Okay, for now it's a structure. It's not a data type, but we will turn it to a data type. So you cut out for a bit uh, for that. Oh, so what I said, what I said, for now, it is not a data type. It's a structure. Therefore, to rebuild it, you have to, again, say structure. But in future, I'll teach you how to create a data type out of a structure so you don't have to say struct anymore. You can just say it rectangle. Got it? So did you hear it in class, hopefully? Yep. Okay, and everybody else, did you hear what I just said? Did you repeat it? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I will repeat it. So, for now, for now, oh, two people are saying no. So let's say it again, okay? For now, the rectangle that you are creating is a package of things. It's a structure of things. You are structuring a rectangle that has many things. To recreate a, a rectangle, you have to struct it again. You have to say struct rectangle RC to make your RC become a rectangle. You have to say struct rectangle ret to create one. Or if you want to return a rectangle, you have to say struct rectangle get rectangle to return a rectangle. For now, rectangle by itself is not a type. You cannot do this. Mm. By itself is not a data type, but I will teach you soon to turn it to a data type. Not today. Okay? Are That's we awesome. okay with this now? Yes. Thank you. 
All right. So the next thing I wanted to say was like this, you can actually have, because before when we wanted to have a name, I could not have 50 names because by itself it's an array. Now life is beautiful. I can actually create struct name. And in here I can say character first, say 50, and character last, 50. Now I can have an array of names and I can actually have a function called get name. So I can say over here struct name get name and in here I can say create a name to return struct name ret and then in here I'm gonna say uh, printf uh, I'm gonna say first I'm gonna say name first space last and then enter you need their quotation marks yeah i'm thinking i'm thinking that's why give me a second okay i'm thinking i'm thinking yes i'm gonna i'm not gonna do it like this so i'm gonna say yeah i'm gonna say i'm gonna say name i'm gonna say uh, first name and I'm gonna say scanf. I, I don't. I want to have. I don't want to have spaces because first name and last name I have. So I'm gonna have percent s in here, and I'm gonna put name. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say ret dot name exactly, exactly uh, first, exactly like regular things. It is an address, so I don't put anything in it. And then I'm gonna say printf last name. let's say for last name I want to get many names so in here I'm gonna say for last name I'm gonna do it like this so where is it uh, for last name I'm gonna do it like this I'm gonna say scanf uh, percent up to backslash n and then in here I'm gonna put ret last so I have first and last and I'm gonna make the last longer so let's put 100 over there Oh, that's too big. Okay, 100. So <coughs> when I say 50, I should put 51. When I say 100, I should 101. That's a mistake. I shouldn't do it that way. Anyways, so <coughs> I do it like this. Now that it's received in here, I'm going to say return ret. Now in here, I'm going to say... Uh, before you continue, uh, you have some spelling mistakes for your Where? print yeah, no, 20 no, no, and no, 21. No, no. Printf? Okay, that's a view version and, of... And scanf too. Seriously? Uh, yeah, scan you spell scan R. Okay, it's all your fault, Peter. You're you're making me <laughs> Okay, so so now that I, now that I have the the get name, let me just bring it closer so we see what we are doing here. I'm just gonna bring it over here. Now I can have actually something. If I so I can have over here struct uh, name name n, and in here I'm gonna say printf. Uh, I'm not going to say printf. I'm going to say, uh, what do I say? I'm going to say printf your name, please. Also the printf again. <laughs> My left and right hand are not synchronized. That's why. Individually, <laughs> they work okay, but together they mishmash. Anyway, so uh, what do I say? What do I say? I'm going to say over here your name. And I'm going to go to new line, your name. Now in here, I'm going to say n is equal to get name. OK? And, and I'm going to have another function over called void print name, prn name. And I'm going to get a struct name, n. And in here, I'm going to say printf. Uh, and I'm going to say uh, new line. So it means with, it's going to print the name with new line. So in here, I'm going to say 
uh, percent s space percent s and I'm gonna go to new line and I'm gonna put over here n dot first and n dot last and I'm done so now in here I can say print uh, get your name uh, I'm gonna say print f hello prn name and I'm gonna put the name over here okay uh, and I'm going to say printf enter two rectangles so now if I run the program you will see that actually those two are passed and please notice I can have now an array of names because now it's a package remember that so now if I run the program you will see that it actually receives my name so I'll go uh, Homer J Simpson and it says hello home J Simpson what happened to Homer oh because I put home. okay oh <laughs> uh, yeah so uh, and I don't know why it has an extra space over here oh because uh, because the other one reads the space yeah wow that's a tough one to fix <laughs> that's a tough one to fix so in here i'm gonna i'm gonna fix it like this i'm gonna say name first name um i'm getting the first name no the last name doesn't have a space oh it you put two space flush key uh, let me see if it's gonna get fixed why did it have a space did i put a space extra no you only put one space between home oh, and because i didn't put a last oh because i didn't listen to the to what it was doing i put both of them get name it says first name i should say homer not homer simpson <laughs> and this one is j simpson okay hello homer j simpson enter two f rectangles now i can enter the rectangles and you know the rest of the story i'm not going to do it now okay so as you see now everything is working perfectly and <clears throat> not only that if i want each rectangle so just look at what i'm going to do uh first of all are we are okay with this <laughs> Okay, now we can actually make this thing even more interesting. So, in here it's going to be arrays, uh, C strings, in structs. So, what I was saying that I wanted to do originally, but I went with rectangle, was this. Where is it? Yeah, it was at the beginning, I think. The first example that I had. No, the second example then. Here. What did I do with my... Okay. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, now let's forget about all these things. We've all done it. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Let's say I want to have subjects. Okay? And this subjects has series of students in them. Okay? So first of all, I need a student, right? So quickly people tell me what a student can have student can have name right student can have name student number name student number student email uh, student what email no email 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 okay email it is email so and then and we have subject and subject has students so this is a student, right?
and this is a subject and we had a name too let me bring the name where is the name 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 is the last one this is the name so first I create a name okay now I want to create a student so I'll go student uh, struct student okay and what does a student have we said student has a name I'm not going to create another name. I'm going to put a structure inside a structure. So I'm going to say struct name st name. So that's the student name. Or I can put actually lowercase name. That's even better. So lowercase. Because anything that is capitalized, that's the standard we have to follow, is a structure. All the names, all the variable names start with lowercase. And this R thingy was a bad thing I've written in here. My apologies. So, student had a name, student number, and email. So, name, student number is a long integer. So, I'm going to say long student number. And then I have a character, email 256. That's the email. That's my student. Now, I have a subject. So, I'll go struct subject. What does a subject have? A subject uh, has a label or oh, oh, subject has a name. So I'll go uh, character uh, name 256. It's not going to be bigger than that. It has a prefix character four character prefix. That's four because you say OOP or IPC. That's three characters. So with a null becomes four. It has an integer code. And it has a section that is three character two, so I'm going to say character section. That is four. I'm not going to implement it. Don't worry. Just I'm just showing you what happens. And now it has students, right? How many students? Maximum of 40. That's the rule in Seneca. So I'm going to say over here, struct student std. 40 done so now take a look at what I have over here I created the subject that has 40 students and each student has a name student number and email but when you look at this structure um, it shows exactly what I have and I can see exactly what I can deal with structures makes code clean and perfect for, and just to show you how to access every and each, if I have over here a struct subject s, I can say s dot student. Actually, let's the uppercase uh, s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. Give me a second. Uh, in here, I'm gonna put uh, student lowercase, so it's obvious. Okay. So in here, I can say s dot uh, student dot name dot student the third student in this class has a name and this is its first name so subject s third students name first name you see so you can go through the whole thing and like think everything gets organized don't worry I'm not gonna do something like this right now it's confusing I just wanted to show you that each structure can hold many structures inside and it's perfectly okay we're not gonna do crazy stuff like this yet hopefully in our project at the end of the semester but not now so just do we understand what the concept of packaging is now all right <laughs> and remember everything works exactly like regular variables do and that's what structures are pass a structure to a function re return a structure from a function everything's beautiful with absolutely no problem um, uh, i'm gonna uh, create a challenge for you to see if you can do it and this challenge is this write a function that returns a subject for me okay so it's a challenge if see if you can do it it's tough don't think that it's easy so i want you to write this function so uh, struct subject get subject <laughs> and return a subject to me 
just think about it. If you do that, you have to do reverse engineering. First, you have to write a get name. Then you have to write uh, a get student. Then you have to write a get subject because subject uses all of them. So that's a perfect exercise. Do that and you're my hero. Uh, you can put that one in your GitHub. People were asking me, uh, how do we do extra work for the marks we lost in the, in the workshops and in the tests to be able to make up for it? This is it. That's my challenge. Write the, so, and a struct and, and these two functions, void, print, subject. Struct, subject, struct, struct, if I can write it, subject, <laughs> S. Okay, write these two functions, these two functions, and get big bonus. Big bonus. Function should spell, be spelled with a <laughs> F-U-N. <laughs> functions and get big bonus. Yeah. Yay! Thank you. Ah. All right, and that's it. All right. <laughs> so what I want to so I want this code to work. I want to have something like this. S is equal to get subject. And I, and I can say uh, print subject. S. I want this code to compile and work and show me a beautiful <coughs> class and everything. So it's right. Introduction to programming using C, IPC 144 NAA, and the list of all the students that are entered. But user be, should be able to select how many students. So user should be uh, uh, enter the number of students. So I'm going to ask one more thing over here. Integer number of students. And I'm going to say, and I'm going to say, obviously, should not be more than 40. OK? So your print can know how many students. You're going to ask three, you're going to get three student names. You're going to get 30, you're going to get 30 student names. You do this, you're my hero, you're going to get big bucks, okay? Big, 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 big bonus stuff from me. Why this main is giving me this? Uh, because you have the prototypes. Oh, no, 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 no. Because of the way I created this thing, um, there is so much memory uh stored that it's gonna t it tells me the function uses one sixteen thousand seven hundred and forty eight bytes of stack consider moving some data to heap you don't understand what it is in op244 i'll teach you okay so, but it works don't worry uh, ignore the warning <laughs> write the code write the code we'll talk any questions anyone any question one yeah, can you summarize what is the subject again? What is the subject? Uh, no, I mean the struct. I mean the struct. What is I a struct? Summarize. Struct yeah. is a package in which you can hold different types of variables and carry them around. So, so if you carry one subject with you, you are actually carrying forty students with their names and everything with you, and the name of the subject and all the good stuff. Uh, all right. Any other question? If you just want to fix the comment, it should say uh, user should enter, not should be. Oh, should enter. <laughs> should be. Yep, enter. There you go. <laughs> should enter the number of students. So as, uh, let me actually write something over here while you guys are. So this is how it's supposed to be. So it's going to say. Uh, should I do it? Nah, do it. It's open ended. Do whatever you want, as long as it's <laughs> user friendly. Yeah. Because like that's gonna be very similar. I want different solutions. For it. This could be your final assignment, by the way. Anyways, any question?
Are we good? <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Guys, have yourself a beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, wait for my announcement. You got to uh, uh, set up a, a meeting for me during the uh, study break for 20 minutes. Each of you to uh, uh, go over your workshops. Okay. I'm going to one by one for every single one of you. I want to talk to you about your workshops. Have a beautiful day. Um, and uh, remember, it's study break, not beer drinking break, not uh, partying uh, break, or so parking, partying week. It's study week. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you got to study. Have a beautiful day, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye, Farhad. Thank, Thank you so much. Peter. Yep. <laughs> What's up? Thank you. Bye, bye. Oh, no, no worries. Bye. <laughs>